well, they can expect, like, just pure mayhem, you know? It's like, we wanted to put a, a show together that was from beginning to end, just, like, completely out of control with, like, movies and, you know, a huge stage set up and, and just, like, the full metal show, you know what I mean? And, like, a lot of, not a lot of metal bands do that kind of thing, you know? So it's cool to give, give them something really visual and really entertaining. What is your favorite song to play live? Uh, right now, it's probably The Nameless. You know, it's a new song that we added to the this tour, and it's just, it's a killer, killer song. So, you know, it's probably my favorite. Cool, cool. So, there's been a lot of rumors that, you know, like, about what's happening after this. What do you guys have planned after the Subliminal Versus tour? Well, I'm sure we'll go to Europe and uh, do that deal, and then, you know, try and hit Japan, and then... We're still trying to figure out like when those things are happening, you know, and it's all the logistics crap that, you know, we don't find out till they're like, hey, man, you got to go to the airport tomorrow type deal. So, but you know, we'll definitely go through probably the end of this year, you know, and then see what happens. Uh, will there be another Slipknot record? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. A lot of fans at home are very, They're like, oh, I hope they're not breaking up or anything. Yeah, no, that's good though. Keep them on their toes. <laughs> all right. Will there ever be a time when you guys take off your masks? No. That's just yeah. not our thing, you know, this is what it is, this is Slipknot, you know, and, and the unmasked part, you know, we get that asked a lot, but it's just not in the cards, you know, so. Uh, Alright, uh, what's the craziest thing a fan has ever done to meet you guys? Oh man, usually it's pretty locked down, you know, but a lot of times, man, they'll just, about, you know, they'll just find their way in, you know, I don't know what they did to get there, you know, the old rock and roll story, but, um, you know, they just they just meet us. You know, if they get to, they get to. If not, you know, you, we're usually we're pretty open. You know, like we'll sign autographs after the show. You know, if they're hanging around or whatever. So it's not quite that difficult. Okay, cool. Uh, recently, you guys uh, played Conan O'Brien, and you guys were missing Clown. Uh, could you just tell us, you know, what exactly happened? No, that's that, he had, he had some um, other engagements that he had to take care of in the Midwest, and um, that's what happened. Okay. Everything's fine though, right? Yeah, everything's cool. You know, we missed him. He's a big part of this band, but you know, there's there's still a life that goes on. You know, so it's, some things just don't fall into place. But he's back, and you know, we're glad to have him. Cool. Okay, so you guys, of course, are playing with Lamb of God and Shadows Fall. Have you got, have you seen them play live? Yeah, of course. Are you, are you fans of theirs? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just a fan of you know metal and like bands that just go out there and throw it down. You know, and it's cool because. A lot of these bands don't get the big tours like this, you know, so it's cool to watch them on a big stage with a lot of people and watch them really excel at what they do, you know, so it's like, it's on, man, and everybody's really cool, so. You guys have played, like, a whole line of venues, smaller venues, arenas, stadiums. What would you say you prefer playing? A lot of times the smaller club, you know, where the fans are right in your face and, you know, the, the heat and everything that goes with that, but I also like the, the, the roaming factor of the big stage. You know, it's cool to run from one end to the other just in pure excitement, you know, and, and work a huge arena, you know, because that's what it's all about, you know. Yeah, you guys uh, were recently nominated for Grammys. We were snubbed, unfortunately. Uh, I was, I was, were, you, were you at the Grammys? Yeah, I was, and I was pissed, man. You know, I'm a um, very competitive person by nature. You know, it has nothing to do with who won or anything like that, but I'm just, I'm competitive, you know, and I, and, um, I don't like to lose. So, you did but, scare a lot of people, though. Yeah, you know, they let us in the door. And that's like a huge, you know, thumbs up for metal right there, you know, that we made it in, man. You know, I'm standing next to Bonnie Raitt, you know, and she's staring at me like, what is this, you know? And so that's, you know, that's a really cool thing to be able to be a part of, you know. I actually saw Kathy Griffin on the E-Review, and she was just like... Uh, like you guys were on the worst dress list, and I thought you guys looked better than like Beyonce. I definitely say. Yeah, we were pimped yeah. out, man. Yeah, it was, it was super pimped. Yeah, it was cool, you know. But they got to put us somewhere, as always. Uh, thank you very much for doing this interview, and uh, let's get to some Slipknot right now on Metal Injection.